For more problems and videos like this for linear algebra, you can take a look at Surai Studies. Link is in the description box below. Let's start with what you know. Ever since 8th grade, you've seen this coordinate plane, and you know that you can plot any point on this coordinate plane. So let's say I want to plot 1, 2. Well, then that would be 1, and then 2 up. This is my point 1, 2. And we say that this point is an element of, that's what this symbol means, all real numbers in the two-dimensional space. Why two-dimensional space? Because every point only has two entries. So this here is our 2D world. If we had three entries, if you've ever done 3D, you know that there's three axes, the X, the Y, and the Z. Then when you plot one, two, three, then this would be in the third dimensional space, in the 3D space. So this point is an element of the second dimensional space. That's just a fancy way of saying, hey, this point is part of the 2D world. You can plot it on a coordinate plane. So that's what you know. But what is new? What's new is that we have something called a vector. Now notice that this is basically a list of numbers. You have two numbers. And so similarly, a vector is also a list of numbers. So you can literally have a vector. This is how we denote it either with an arrow or a bar at the top or just bolded, you'll see on printed papers. We can have the vector be the same thing. This is what we call a row vector because it's horizontal, but we can rewrite vectors in the form that we see it the most, which is a column vector, so vertical. How do I plot this? Well, just how I plotted a point, I plot this. This is telling me go one to the right and then one, two up. This is my vector V. Some people just take this and write a point just to emphasize the idea that it's kind of a point. It's the same thing, but I like to keep it as an arrow. So it's one to the right and then one, two, up. Unless otherwise specified, we always start at the origin. But then the question is, if these are visually the same, then why introduce a vector? Well, the idea is because you can start it somewhere else. This vector is the same if it were up here. Just because it starts at this point doesn't mean it's not different. It's literally the same size. It still goes from here, one to the right, and then one, two, up. So we're left with this vector here. But again, by default, we always start the origin. And similarly, we say that this vector is an element of, that's what the symbol means, the set of all real two-dimensional vectors. So here, this point is an element of the set of all real two-dimensional points, every other point that can exist. And here, this vector is an element of the set of all real, that's what the R means, of two-dimensional vectors. It's just saying it's one of the many real vectors in this space. So I'll see you in the next video.